So there I was, you know, just breezing through the, you know, Bitcoin, Black America book. It's, it's, it's a sparse book, you know, I mean, it's like you could read this in an hour, you know. And uh, they got a cut, they got a chart in there. Anyway, so I, it's not that I got bored, but I said, ah, whatever. Then, you know, I actually had, I had, I was drinking juice. I was, I was drinking, I was drinking some juice. I was drinking uh, this uh, immune refresher that I'm not really into. This you know, with the you know, purple carrot and the beet and the cherry and this elderberry and echinaceous bush from concentrate. But then, of course, I mixed it with my little uh, carrot, ginger, turmeric, real, real juice. And uh, I was sipping, you know, I got it. Then I made a mistake. Not that I got bored, I just made a mistake. So I tossed the book aside, picked up my smartphone, my, you know, and I uh, looked at it. And, uh, it had been awful all day, because I've been out, I was out shopping, you know, and I said, well, shopping, I went to a health food store and I got some stuff, you know, got some stuff. I got, I got a bunch of stuff, but, uh, you know, just, uh, I mean, I got some Patagonia smoke sound, I don't know what that is. I got, a, I got a couple of teas, I got this tea because me and uh, me and the black man were talking last week and he forgot to mention this tea here, this, this organic throat thing. Yeah, maybe I'll put a link, yeah, then I won't put a link, but you know, like that, so I got that. And uh, I just saw this tea, so I just got this stomach ease tea. No, I don't have any stomach problems anyway. I just, I don't know, I just decided to get it, so. I got that. But I was reading the thing, man. And it came across that Cornell West decided to, uh, I say, endorse, support, I don't know, vote for Joe Biden. Look, tell you the truth, I just read the headlines. And I couldn't read any further. In fact, I just went down to the comments. <laughs> I didn't read there. I went to the comments. And I basically said, hey, you know, no matter what he's doing, you know, a true, a true hashtag ATOS, you know, we're going to be voting down ballot anyway, no matter who's up top, just writing, writing ATOS. But then I said, especially if you're going to vote in a state where it don't matter, like, you know, the, the Biden boy got it locked up. I wrote something like that. I don't, it don't it matter what I wrote. But then it then started gnawing at me. I started thinking, I'm going like, wait a second. I'm I'm just I'm just an audio dramatist, you know. What I mean, you know, I've been around, but I've been involved, you know, I hang out with political campaigns. I was hanging out with the, you know, the Jay Raymond whatever club in in New York back in the day, you know, you know, you know with Denny Farrell and David Dinkins and those pe those kind of people, you know, you know, you know those kind of people. And then I started thinking. I said, this reminds me of something. Something that a cat said, you know, I, I told you before this cat, cat, my, one of my friends, right, this cat right here, I say he's a genius, like that, see that, see him with me right there, that's the, the guy right there, this tall guy, I'm the short guy, well, I'm not, well, you know, it's Grayson, Grayson's smart, I talk to Grayson every now and then, because, you know, it, it take, you, you don't talk to Grayson, you go, <laughs> it takes some time, anyway, and then also, we has been the same, but remember, we got a free, you know, is that free or save? Oh, we got to save. We got to save black people. So I was thinking, well, no, you can't see. Let me show you. It looks like this. I know you all can't see this thing. All right, let me show it to you. This is my best friend's house, so he got the picture of it. This is the picture right here. See? See the symbolism in it? See that? This was done back when the Haitians were having their, their boat, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, so I'm looking at that. I'm thinking all these thoughts. And then I go back to Grace. He had said something before. So a lot of times Grace would be saying stuff, and I write, I just write it on down. He wrote this, he said this thing one time. He said, uh, he called a certain class of people, namely academic, academics and stuff like that, he called them ISCs. 
the intellectual servant class. The intellectual servant class. Now you see, I, I, I don't expect that. You know, look, people can say what they will. I just have to ask them what they're thinking. But you know, somebody like Cornel West, who, who deals with musicians, you know, cooks about musicians, who even mentioned, look, <laughs> he mentioned Cedric Robinson, who wrote Black Marxism. Somebody like that knows. He knows. I mean, certainly knows. Like I said, I don't know where he votes. Is he a residency in New York? Yes, you know. The New York's a democratic town, so, you know, he's going to, they're going to get Biden anyway, so why would... Never mind. So, yeah, so the point is this. If you're going to say something like that, that means you don't... It's not your own vote. It's like you're trying to influence. You're trying to... How do you say this? You're, you're trying to give an uh, out <laughs> for fences. I don't know what you're trying to do. I can't tell you if I don't know what you're trying to do. So I put my hat on backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put my hat on backwards. See, see what it says? It's, 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 the hat is a, it says, do something amazing. That's it. It's Air Force. I serve in the Air Force. I'm a veteran. So you can't accuse me about not being American. I'm American as can be. In fact, I'm a North American descendant of chattel slavery. You can't get more American than that. Built the country, my lineage built the country, and all the rest of that stuff. Anyway, the point is, see, USAF. So I'm, I have to say it. <laughs> no, I don't say nothing. But look, so then I said, look, there's nothing I can do. But perhaps one of the things I got from the health food store is called stomach ease. Now, see, stomach ease, they got, uh, always look at the ingredients, other ingredients. Uh, but by the way, uh, well, let me just read the thing. Now, I got this uh, stomach ease because, you know, I, I, don't, I just got the stomach ease. It sounded good. We combine perfectly sweet earthy fennel seed. And licorice, I think it's for, for the licorice, because I'm trying to take a lot of licorice, especially at night, because that cleans out your lungs. And you know, the COVID thing is happening, and the, and the lungs, you, you want to clean the lungs, because, you know, the, 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 any virus goes through, well, the virus goes through the nose, you know, or the mouth, gets to the lungs, and then goes from the lungs right up into the brain, you know. And in fact, if you've got a, if you've got a virus, you know, you'll know you've got a virus because you get a headache. And some of the headache is like a band around your head and really squeezes, so you know something's going on. Something you get a high fever, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I want to take a lot of licorice because that cleans out the lungs, constantly cleaning out the lungs. I'm, I do that at night, you know what I mean? So I go, yeah, it's mad. But I'm saying, wait a second, fennel seed. You know what fennel seed does? It's like fennel seed. It's like that, that Santa thing, you know what I mean? It eases your stomach, yeah, but it also, you know, helps you to, your bowel movement. So this intellectual servant class, they're full of it. I need to send, no, better start, I need to get, they, they, make, they also make a smooth move tea. I made to send them some smooth moves. Smooth move tea. Because they're full of it. That's not going to help, but they're full of it. Anyway, let me stop being upset, me being tea from the Pattersons. Pattersons, and that's Africa over there. Well, this, this, Africa, this is North America. Passion Projects, South Bronx, right there. From the Pattersons, taking the train. I take the train over there, go through, a, you know, Canada, U.S., uh, so Russia, and on down. Da, 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 da. And anyway, Tibet's down there. I'm taking a train to Tibet, for real. Got to, man. Got to get out of here. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you can tell me. Maybe you know what's going on. Hey, if you know what's going on, tell somebody. <laughs>